Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review is the Feather Popular Double Edge Safety Razor. It comes seated nicely in this little travel box. It's a plastic box with a clear cover so you can see the razor inside. Also comes with a five pack of feather blades. The black is a five pack. The yellow package is a 10 pack. It's exactly the same blade, just so you know, but the black is five, the yellow is 10. I've already taken one out of the package. The specs on this razor, this razor weighs in at 2.5 ounces or 70 grams. And then the overall length from top to bottom is 4.5 inches or 114 millimeters. It's a pretty long razor as far as safety razors go. It feels good in the hand. It's got a nice plastic handle. This black portion here, plastic, is made of ABS resin. And then the metal portions here, this is stainless steel and brass. The way you open this razor, you just spin this dial right here, hold the handle at the bottom. You can either spin the dial or spin the handle, either way, and it opens up like that. And then you just pop your blade in. I'll quickly open up a fresh package of feather double-edged razor blades, high stainless blades. Crack the seal on this, and let's get one of these blades out of here. Here we go. It comes wrapped in the paper, so we'll remove the paper. Here's a look at the blade. Feather, all stainless. We'll just pop that right over the bar. You can see this bar accepts the blade. The blade fits directly over it. And then to tighten it, just spin the handle till it locks down, like so. And you can see that the blade protrudes slightly on the outsides, on the outside edges, right there. Let's have a look at the reveal. It's perfect on both sides, very even. So you'll get an even shave no matter which side you shave with. Today I'll be using Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream, one of my all-time favorite creams. I've been using this cream for a good 10 years. I know I used it 10 years ago in one of my first videos and it's become very popular ever since then. I'll use the Parasso Bore Brush. This is a relatively new brush, so it's still pretty stiff. After you use them for a while, they will break in and soften up, but this one is pretty stiff. So let's mix up a lather. I've got my Shave Nation Bumpy and Destructible here. It's got bumps on the inside, lather spot on the bottom. Just fill that with lather and then swirl the brush on the bumps. Generate some really nice lather quickly. It's got the logo on the front and this is unbreakable. You could drop this on the floor, uh, hit it with a hockey stick, baseball bat, whatever. It's not going to break. <laughs> I'll put my link to my video. I can prove it to you. You'll see. This bowl actually comes in seven different colors. Black, red, blue, white, pink, yellow, and green. This is midnight blue right here. Let's just scoop out a little bit of this sandalwood. I'll use my finger. That's how much I'm gonna use right there. I'm gonna drop that right into the bottom of the bowl, like so. Just smear it around there a little bit. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna soak this boar brush in some hot water, right there. Let that soak for a little bit. Here's a look at the brush when it's saturated. So we'll pour out this water and I'll shake a little bit of the water off the brush and we'll commence to lathering and see how this goes. Just saturate the tips, load them with that cream and then once the bottom is cleared out you can start rubbing the brush against the bumps on the sides of the bowl and you can see how quickly that lather comes up to the top. It rises up to the top. Isn't that what they say? The cream always rises to the top. There you go. Look at it. And then scoop that back in. And just keep swirling. And about 30 seconds, we've got some really nice lather here. Look at that really quickly. So these bumps really help in generating a nice, quick, thick lather. Look at that. All right, so now I'll wet my face with some hot water. We'll get right to the shave. We'll see how this razor performs. All right, my face is a bit red from the hot water. We will grab our brush and bowl and just apply
apply some lather. Let's lather up. As I said, the brush is pretty stiff, so you can direct that lather anywhere you want it to go with this brush. It doesn't flop over. Those bristles are really strong. The boar bristles. Oh, that sandalwood scent? Fantastic. This is one of the strongest sandalwood scents of any shaving cream in my opinion, which is another reason why I like it. figure eight method. Again, you feel a little bit scratchy with this brush, but it does really drive the lather into the beard, which is what you want. You want to soften up the beard so it's prepared to be shaved off cleanly with your super sharp safety razor blade. Let's clear the runway so we can see our sideburns. Dry off the fingers. All right, here we go. Here's the razor loaded up with the feather blade, the feather popular safety razor. I'll temper it under the hot water just so we don't have cold steel on face. Just warm it up a little bit. We'll go perpendicular, tilt slightly up like that, work our way down. Very nice. I had a couple days worth of beard growth and as you can see, no problem whatsoever removing it. Flip it over, one side is full, we'll flip to the other side. Wow, this is actually a really nice razor as far as uh, it being on the lighter side and very reasonably priced, shaves very well. There's the stubble, let's rinse that. Now we'll go to the left side, same way, perpendicular, tilt slightly up. One side's filled up, we'll switch it over. Very smooth. Not super aggressive, but very efficient. Now we'll hit the mustache. Well, very easy, nice uh, as far as the compact head, fits directly under the nose very easily. Okay, very good, first pass complete. Let's rinse off. We'll go back into our bowl, load up again. Plenty of lather as you can see. Got a couple of stray hairs on this brush. Look at that, poking out the side, no biggie. Let's clear the runways again. Dry the fingers real quick. Okay, first pass was with the grain from north to south. Now we'll go against the grain on the neck. Very smooth. Very difficult to cut yourself with this razor. Okay, now we'll go across the grain. We'll rinse that off. Now we can backhand it this way. Under the nose, just be careful because the blade does protrude a little bit. You don't want to clip the bottom of your nose. Just go slow with it. Oh, 
really nice. After two passes, really good. Let's lather up, let's do a third pass on the cheek so it'll get super smooth. A little bit more lather. Just hit the cheeks. We'll go against the grain on the cheeks and we'll get that baby smooth finish. Just put the razor like this and then tilt slightly upward just until it starts catching. That's where you want to be. That's that sweet spot. Oh, really nice. Really nice. A little bit of audible feedback, but this is what gives you that baby smooth. You don't want to scrape like this. You just want to hit that sweet spot right there. Now the other side, you can go like this, same hand, or you can switch to the other hand. I'll do this. You can see it a little better. Same way. Start in the middle of the cap and just tilt your handle slightly upward until it catches. Stretch the skin a little bit. Excellent. Really nice. Very smooth. I'm very impressed with this razor. All right, let's do a final rinse. We'll take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, wet this under the cold water. Let's spin it up a little bit. And then just glide that all around. The area you just shaved gives you a little feedback. If you get some stinging, you went over the same area too many times or got a little bit of irritation. I'm getting no irritation whatsoever. Really smooth. Very nice. This is alum. It's a natural stone. Comes from the ground, a natural mineral. It'll close off your pores, seal off your skin, seal off any small nicks if you happen to get any, but we have nothing of the sort. <laughs> All right, just let that soak in for about 30 seconds and rinse off. We'll pat the face dry. The aftershave I'm going to use layers up perfectly over the Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream. This is Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Luxury Aftershave Gel. Here's a look at it. Just snap open the cap, squirt a little bit out. That's what it looks like. It's a clear gel. And just apply that directly to the face. Goes on cool. Gives you a little bit of protection. Very comfortable. Excellent finish to the shave. Check it out. Very smooth. Glass-like finish. I went from heavy two, three day beard growth to just baby smooth. Excellent. If you want to jump in and give Safety Razor Shaving a try, I highly recommend this razor. Shaves very well, feels great in the hand, reasonably priced, butterfly style opening doors or twist to open. Made in Japan. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning. It's made in Japan. So they've been making sharp objects for many years. Here's a final look at the razor, the Feather Popular Double Edge Safety Razor. Nice fit and finish, feels good in the hand, a nice long substantial handle, easy to grip, horizontal lines in the plastic or ABS resin and then brass and stainless steel on the silver parts. Shaves very well as you can see. Just a nice, smooth, efficient, not super aggressive, just an enjoyable shave. If you want to pick up this razor or any of the other items I used in the video, just click below where it says show more and you can pick them up there. Or visit shavenation.com, enter in the search box popular and you can get it there. Do me a favor, click that subscribe button down there and then go up and click the bell in the upper right hand corner and then click all so you'll be notified of all my future videos coming out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.